first mover advantage. You hear that phrase thrown around constantly in tech circles, but holy hell, Ouster just demonstrated what it actually looks like in practice. This LiDAR company just became the very first, and I mean the first, to get a 3D LiDAR sensor approved by the Pentagon through their Blue UAS framework. And the market? Well, the stock exploded over 20% today, which honestly feels like the market is still processing what just happened. I was scrolling through my newsfeed this morning, coffee in hand, when I saw this headline about Ouster's Pentagon approval. At first glance, I almost skipped it. Another defense contract, right? But then I caught that little detail. First 3D LiDAR sensor ever approved. That made me sit up straight. See, here's the thing about defense approvals that most people don't get. The Blue UAS framework isn't like getting your app approved for the App Store. This is the gold standard for defense technology in the United States. We're talking about rigorous cybersecurity testing, component reviews by the Defense Innovation Unit, National Defense Authorization Act compliance, the works. It's not just, does your tech work, it's, does your tech work under combat conditions while maintaining the highest security standards? And Ouster's OS-1 digital LiDAR sensor just passed all of that. What gets me really excited, and maybe I'm geeking out here, is the 3D aspect. While everyone else is still messing around with 2D LiDAR systems that basically create flat maps, Ouster is delivering high-resolution, three-dimensional environmental data in real time. For military drones, that's the difference between I see something and I understand exactly the shape, size, and position of every object around me. That's a completely different ballgame. I remember talking to a buddy who works in defense tech about six months ago, and he was telling me how frustrated everyone was with the limitations of current drone sensors. We can see stuff, but we can't really understand it, he said. Well, looks like Ouster just solved that problem. But let's talk about what this really means from a business perspective because the implications are massive. First off, Ouster now has direct access to Pentagon budgets worth billions of dollars. Not millions, billions. And here's the kicker. Defense contracts aren't your typical B2B deals where you're constantly fighting for renewals. When the military adopts your technology, you're looking at long-term, predictable revenue streams that can stretch for years. And I think that's the kind of stability that transforms a company's entire financial outlook. Actually, let me back up for a second because there's something even more interesting here. Ouster already has relationships with the Army, Navy, National Labs, NASA, and various transportation departments. So this Pentagon approval isn't just opening new doors. It's supercharging existing relationships and giving them the ability to expand into completely new application areas with organizations they already work with. That's beautiful business synergy right there. The timing is absolutely perfect, too. The autonomous systems market is exploding right now, not just in military applications, but across commercial uses. Companies are desperately looking for LiDAR solutions for autonomous vehicles, robotics, smart infrastructure, you name it. And now when Ouster walks into any sales meeting, they can say, our product is Pentagon approved and already deployed by US forces. Try competing with that sales pitch. What really caught my attention is that Ouster is ISO 27001 certified and offers Buy American certified products. In today's world, where supply chain security and national security are becoming increasingly important, that's not just a nice to have, that's a competitive moat. Companies can't afford security risks anymore, and Ouster just positioned themselves as the safest choice in the market. Here's something I find fascinating. This approval creates a positive feedback loop that makes Ouster stronger in both defense and commercial markets. The extreme requirements of military applications force them to constantly improve their technology, which makes their commercial products even better. At the same time, commercial success gives them resources and scale to offer more competitive pricing for military contracts. It's like a snowball effect that keeps getting bigger. The stock surge today, over 20%, is impressive, but honestly, I think the market hasn't fully processed what this means yet. We're not talking about a single contract or one-time approval. Ouster just laid the foundation to become the dominant provider of 3D LiDAR technology for all future military drone programs. Every time the Pentagon starts new drone projects or upgrades existing systems, Ouster is now automatically on the approved vendor list. And here's something that really gets me excited about the international implications. Other countries and allies often use U.S. military standards as benchmarks. If Ouster's technology is good enough for the Pentagon, 
it suddenly becomes very interesting for NATO partners, Five Eyes countries, and other US allies. This Pentagon approval isn't just an American success, it's the key to global defense markets. I was actually looking at some numbers earlier, and the drone market is projected to hit $58.4 billion by 2026. That's massive growth, and Ouster just positioned themselves right in the sweet spot of that expansion. Plus, their technology works in extreme conditions, temperature fluctuations, vibrations, dust, all the stuff that breaks other sensors. The Pentagon doesn't just test whether technology works in lab conditions, they test whether it performs reliably when people's lives depend on it. One thing that keeps nagging at me though, and maybe I'm overthinking this, is how long it took other companies to even attempt getting 3D LiDAR approved. Was everyone else just not trying hard enough? Or is Ouster's technology genuinely that far ahead? My gut says it's probably both. Sometimes being first isn't about being the smartest in the room, it's about being the most persistent. The beautiful thing about defense contracts is they stabilize and strengthen Ouster's entire business model. Until now, they were mainly dependent on commercial markets, which can be volatile and heavily affected by economic cycles. Now they suddenly have access to defense budgets that are much less affected by short-term market fluctuations. That's the kind of diversification that makes CFOs sleep better at night. I gotta say, watching this unfold today has been pretty wild. 20% moves don't happen every day, especially for companies that actually have real technology solving real problems. This isn't some meme stock or speculative play. This is infrastructure for the future of autonomous systems. And it just got the highest possible validation from the most demanding customer in the world. Looking ahead, I think we're going to see Ouster become the standard for 3D LiDAR in defense applications. When you're the first and only company to achieve something this significant, it creates a reputation that's really hard for competitors to overcome. Plus, every success makes the next approval easier, the next contract more likely, the next partnership more valuable. This whole situation reminds me why I love following defense tech companies. When they get it right, the wins are massive and long-lasting. The barriers to entry are enormous, the customers are loyal, and the applications keep expanding. Ouster just proved they can play at the highest level, and for a company that trades now around $1 billion, I personally think that's the kind of validation that changes everything. We will see what's going to happen next. Will other LiDAR companies scramble to get their own Pentagon approvals? Will Ouster's commercial business get a boost from this defense credibility? Will we see more international contracts flowing their way? One thing's for sure, today changed the game for Ouster, and I don't think we've seen the full impact yet. Thanks for watching and I hope I'll see you in the next video.